What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. I'm excited. I'm here with a new video, guys. Today, we're going to be reacting to Student Loses It Why Debating Ben Shapiro, guys. Ben Shapiro is, is an incredible man. I, I love checking out his videos. But this one, I, I don't think I've ever seen it before. So, this is going to be my first time checking this out. I want you guys to join me as well. Watch it together. You know how to do it to talk less right over yet more. Let's get into today's video. Poof. Before I ask my question, so are you, do you come from Holocaust survivors or are you a Jewish family that didn't? Uh, so my great, great grandparents arrived here. A lot of our extended family was killed in the Holocaust, but, but our immediate Your great, great grandparents, but not your grandparents. Right. Oh, do you have friends whose grandparents were Holocaust survivors or anything like that? Of course, that? many of them. Yeah, I've written, I've, I've helped, uh, I've helped write memoirs of Holocaust survivors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Their families are kind of messed up, right? Uh, like, my family is very messed up. I mean, if you they, go through they a teach, trauma like the Holocaust, they, I would imagine. They teach that. that trauma between generations. You know what I mean? Well, hmm. I mean, trauma very often in a lot of circumstances is passed down. I mean, I know some kids of Holocaust survivors who turned out fantastic and some who didn't. I mean, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So okay. you are officially woke. That is what wokeness is about. It's like, uh, you know, people's grandparents or their great grandparents were slaves. Well, it's okay. No, no, it's okay. Guys, Fuck guys, you. I'm talking. talking. Guys, like, I seriously. I actually want to hear. I want, I want to hear. I, no, this is okay. actually okay. using F word right there. I want to hear the, Let's at least hear the argument. Let's, okay, so let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Go. What? He wants to hear me. I do want to hear it. It's fine. Let he him go. Let, let's hear it. Come on. I'll just, you know, so I'm ex talking. explain Come how on. that's woke. So, I mean, the whole thing is, is like, Oh, let's see. So during <sighs> Silent Cal, Calvin Coolidge's administration, do you know about like the great Mississippi flood back in the 1930s? I understand that American history is filled with racial evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that causes some intergenerational trauma, which affects people's ability to be you okay, know, so let me, effective let me, okay. and things like that. Fine. So let me ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, so if the idea is that history has consequences, of course that's true. That's not yeah, wokeness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is okay. not wokeness. What wokeness suggests is that fundamental institutions in American society no, it are doesn't. so Yes, I, it a I ran, does. I ran Elizabeth Warren's campaign. I helped organize her volunteers Seriously. around here. I am, I am a representative of wokeness. Okay. Well, and that's just, I mean, this is all it is. Well, I mean, like, I mean, I, I, you know, I when, I, that, when I uh, went to go get my first tattoo, I, I, the guy I, I, had lightning bolts and 88s tattooed on his neck. And as a Jewish person, um, that's really messed up. It's, so it's basically a threat. There are, there are racist people who mm. exist. The argument that you're making, and I'm going to close with this because this is going in weird directions and I don't really no, want to... No, no, no. It's not I, going I don't, in I don't really want to... No, just hold this up is, a second. This I, let, is I let you get out your arguments and that's, now it's time for me to respond because I let you say Okay, I'll let you respond, but... No, I no, no, not but. Now's my turn. You, you are not characterizing but, what I'm saying accurately. Now, now it's now it's my turn. Your your yeah. your definition is inaccurate. The reason your definition is inaccurate is because any sentient human being would acknowledge that history has consequences. Right. But if the idea is, but that's not what wokeism is. Wokeism is a different thing. Wokeism suggests that all inequalities of today are attributable to not only historic injustices but also continuing injustices in the now. And I've that never all disparity is attributable to discrimination. Like that, but a not just that. Not a just conservative that. is the not only person. Not and just. I want to know why. Why is it that conservatives are the only people who define it like that? Why, why are conservatives the okay. only people? Okay. 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 So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to stop here because yeah. this is going nowhere. Exactly. But, uh, I, I'm gonna have to stop with this with you because this is going nowhere. All I'm going well, to say is this. No, so I, I just I, am I, trying I, to I, understand I your perspective. On it. He just don't. Just one more second. On a, it's. On you a, say on a, on a fundamental you on a, a fundamental level, you're shifting definitions to avoid the consequences of your own argument. And if the idea is, and, and, fi and, is and final point, speech. and final this point, and final point. If you are going you to hold on, if you are also, also, just final point to sum up there. Final well, point I don't to know how I can follow that. Yeah, but, uh, one more. I just want to make honestly. I want to make one final point to sum up there. If the idea is that traumas of the past invariably bleed down into the present, that does not explain why certain groups that have been historically not only marginalized but slaughtered in mass genocide are some of the most successful groups in our society. So, if the idea is. <laughs> 
If the idea is that past trauma always equals current inequality, or that my actions in, say, robbing a convenience store are attributable to bad actions that happened in Alabama in 1930, the answer to that is no. Don't rob the convenience store. The only way they are going to be able to break the chain of history is to make good decisions. What, what people on the left don't like to talk about is actual solutions. What they like to do is bitch about problems that existed 60 years ago and blame those for failures to solve them now. You see, Shapiro, Shapiro's speech is really clever, really smart. Um, the gentleman right there, I'll call him a gentleman, he, he just don't want to accept the facts, number one. And uh, number two, having a past trauma or having a trauma about what happened in your lifetime or your experience you have does not justify you making wrong decisions. I know. People always want to blame, blame that decision on the trauma that it is because of the trauma they had, they made this decision. But everyone knows what is wrong and right. And everyone passed through different trauma while growing up. No one have a perfect childhood. No one have a perfect life. But we all choose to make decisions that is going to benefit the society. So Ben is trying to clarify it to him. That this is what the point is, but he still don't want to accept the fact. It feels like Ben... He's all wrong. He just came on the stage right then to embarrass himself, not Ben. Because he just wants to prove Ben wrong, that Ben is wrong. What, all, every speech that Ben have ever made in his lifetime is all false. Being Ben Shapiro, he understands such people. He understands such, such people who have passed through such trauma and such experience that keeps on blaming the society, that don't want to acknowledge the fact that their action is leading them nowhere. It was very smart of Ben to stop the argument once he noticed the guy was not paying attention. The guy never wants to accept the fact that what Ben is saying is true. So he was like, this argument is taking us nowhere. Let's just end it. That is exactly what Ben should have done a long time ago because the guy was making pointless arguments. For me, I would say it like that because Ben is trying to make a point and you are coming over him like you don't you, you just don't want him to make his points you just want your own points to be heard and what you are saying is wrong and you still don't want to accept the fact that what you're saying is wrong so as no one wants to pay attention to you yourself saying something the entire video was educative i love ben's speech i love how he handled this matter maturely without creating any violence or any harsh speech so it was it was beautiful watching this video i enjoyed myself and also learned from inside too so comment down below what you think about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video with as many as you can, subscribe to the channel, you know how to do it, so see you guys in the next video, make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady, I'm back wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her, oh bitch you know I'm grinding like a pro skater, baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore, buku bitch in my bed, I got scales all